today we're going to talk about the Reign of Terror itself and how the Reign has influenced uh, the direction of the revolution as well as its memory of the revolution right down to today. So the leadership of the revolution had decided that yes, it was worthwhile to execute the king. Louis the Sixteenth was guilty of crimes against the people of France, and that as long as he remained alive, he was a rallying point around which counter revolutionaries could try to turn things back to the way they had always been. So while the French Revolution was driven by ideals of liberty, equality, and fraternity, the reign of terror stands out as the point where all of those revolution or all of those ideals get soaked in blood and most of them get betrayed. Uh, a constitution by this time had been built for France, but it ended up being suspended by the revolutionary leaders on the Committee of Public Safety. And they cracked down hard on people who disagreed with them. And by cracking down hard, I mean chopping their heads off with, gull with guillotines. Um, the idea behind this style of execution was it was supposed to be quick and painless. And for the time, yes. And as well, it's supposed to supposedly be humane and doesn't differentiate between no noble and commoner. But what did end up happening is that tens of thousands of people ended up dying. Uh, so for 11 months, from 1793 to 1794, the Constitution was entirely suspended, and the uh, Committee for Public Safety executed people who disagreed with them. Uh, some people even got executed for simply saying that, you know, maybe we shouldn't have killed Louis. We agree with the principles of the revolution, but killing the king was going a step too far and that we could have exiled him or we could have dealt with this in a different way or the way that he was tried betrayed the very principles of equality that the revolution was supposed to be about. But part of the reason that things got this far was because of the counter-revolutionaries and because the committee in particular wanted to ensure that there was no possibility of the counter-revolutionaries getting a foothold. But the result of that was that a lot of innocent people died in a way that absolutely does not hold up to that ideal of liberty and equality for all people. In fact, after the French Revolution, one of the reasons the motto went away for quite a while is that people questioned if liberty and equality were actually compatible ideals. How could someone be completely free and completely equal and society still function? It's something that philosophers have thought about since and resolved. Of course, the other reason it went away was that Napoleon replaced it with something quite a bit more autocratic, but we'll get to Bonaparte in a next video. So what ended up finally ending the reign of terror was when a group of nuns got executed for refusing to renounce their monastic vows. And... Um, when they actually went to be executed, they were singing hymns as they went. And it moved people and it made people see how far this had gone. The reason that this became a big deal is that, remember, this was a secular government. And things had finally pushed far enough that they were starting to see any religion as at all, any religious tolerance as being... Um, a potential sign of sympathy with monarchists or as counter-revolutionaries. And if you remember, one of the ideals that started this entire thing off was people wanting freedom of religion. So the revolution had gone from 
France only allowing Catholicism to France only allowing atheism. And it's one of the reasons why, even today, there are people who are afraid of governments that are secular and or atheist trying to stamp out religion. So this turned opinion against the Committee of Public Safety, and it actually ended up that the committee were some of the last people to get their heads chopped off in the French Revolution. And they, But the interesting thing is they weren't just overthrown by the people who thought they had gone too far. They were also overthrown by the people who were even more radical and wanted more power for the committee. And they're like, no, this is not a good idea, giving us this much more power. Um, which is a good thing to remember historically, because sometimes uh, people lose power because they try to find a middle ground and they end up making no one happy. Now, Committee for Public Safety, not exactly a middle ground, but it's the same type of principle. They managed to displease both the people who thought they were far too extreme and the people who thought they weren't extreme enough.